find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Me too. Me too. Me too. Guys, there's going to be some haters out there. They're going to look at us, Team USA, and be like, why is the most talented one Australian? Hello, Internet. Today is February 10th, 2015, and this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk everything movies, TV, basically anything that you watch in front of a screen. Uh, I'm Malango at Rambling Mango. You forgot who you were? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can understand. On, you got this new fandangle thing. It's like, <laughs> I went on a professional podcast. I'm bringing back your format. And now you forgot your name. I did forget my name. Uh, it's because I, I, I was, I don't know, I'll just say preoccupied. And this is what I'm reading off of. Okay, okay. These iPhone 6s aren't as big as they, I should have got with the Plus. That's what I should have done. Anyway, The Plus size. <laughs> anyway, I am in studio today. Might as well just today. go for mini iPad. We got it, Malenga likes a Plus mm. size, okay. I'm in studio today. Yes, and, you are. And because of that, I am able to see at eye level. Ah. Sorga, sorga over trying. there, over there, across on the couch, on the love seat of movie love. There it is, is Malengo, and I'm Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, ready to go. We got see my fancy tie. Oh, your fancy tie. You know tie. why that is? Because we are official as of today, Sorgatron Media Incorporated. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You got incorporated. Thank you, everybody, for not suing me before now. <laughs> <clears throat> there you go. Hey, because we're incorporated, that means that we reach across everywhere to like new york because we're incorporated is that what that means and we have a new york connection my advisor needs to talk with me about that well our new york connection... i saw the package of papers and i'm like oh man oh man i don't know what any of this means <laughs> i was the wrong person to receive that one but it's a fancy binder introduce mad mike mad mike <laughs> hi hi um um i don't know if you heard there was a little news this week. We'll get yes. to that. We'll get yes. to that. Um, um, see your, but your before, precious. Before, before, I, I was listening to you guys last week. I know you talked about the um, the Super Bowl movie trailers. I'm going to give one word for each of them quick. Go. Uh, Tomorrowland, awesome. Jurassic World, amazing. Furious 7, I thought I knew how it ended. Now I know how it begins. <laughs> and... And of course, our trailer for this week, Pitch Tastic. <laughs> All right, I will touch on that here in a second. By the way, Mike, I'm really glad the the word of the day has been dress for the job you want, not the job you have. And I see that you've taken that on very, very well. Um, everybody can check that you out know, on the video. How do you know I'm not Spider Man? So we don't because technically nope. we don't know who Spider Man is right now. Uh, no, we don't. You, this we could be casting don't. news, Sorg. <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment. But first, of course, Pitch Perfect is our trailer for the week. You, you saw at the top of the show there. Um, I'm excited. This is the global trailer number two. Um, and uh, a little World extended. War yeah, well, World War Two. what's up, oh. global? Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I'm always, I've always been excited for Pitch Perfect. So much that I have it on two computers. Oh, wow. Yeah, as MP4, MP4, MP4 format, in case I get depressed and lonely and I decide, hey. What? I want to watch some musical <laughs> action. This got weird. And, and dance. Dance off. Uh, yeah, I'm pumped. And the trailer was good. Like, I'm excited. It was fun. It was fun. Um, I, I, I You know, you really got kind of got the vibe for uh, what's going to go on here. Um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be more push for it's bigger. It's getting out of the school. It's like Mighty also, Ducks. I, I I love that there is a mysterious Swedish acapella group. <laughs> yes, with, with screens and everything. It reminds me of like Scott Pilgrim or Sven on How I Met Your Mother. Like I <laughs> yes, <laughs> just can't wait. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah, and right. also Clay Matthews. Yeah, Clay Matthews. yeah. I was gonna say cameo from Green Bay. That's kind of awesome too. 
where they there it's it's kind of funny because somebody was joking about like they don't need work and it's like well yeah, they got free time this is a fun project like that mad props to that mm-hmm. so awesome. uh so yeah box office box office uh it looks like i picked the right thing to review last week is spongebob movie sponge out of water uh, made uh, $55 million uh, uh, topping off the week. American Sniper is still out there with $23 million, which I think is about what it did the week before. I think actually. last week it got around 30 Around so, 30 yeah. yeah sure. So not a lot of drops still, uh, followed up by uh, the premieres by Jupiter Ascending and Seventh Sun, and following yeah. up Project Almanac, which we said well, it was number two, but it was a, a huge drop off from yeah. what was going on. What's up, uh, Mike? Do, do you guys want to know why SpongeBob was able to be American Sniper? It was actually a happy movie? No, I was going to say the bullets just went right through him. Uh-huh. Oh. <sighs> I need a Look soundboard. I, I need oh, a no. soundboard. Bump. Yeah, there you go. Ah, jokes. Oh, no. We got them all. We got them all. <laughs> uh, what, was the, what was the drop for a SpongeBob? Well, uh, this, so this was the first week. Well, this was the first week? Yeah, oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah was. You had wait, wait, I was on a preview. Yeah, wow, so week. 50. That's good. That's awesome. For a kid's movie, that's, yeah. that's amazing. Especially you know. since, hey, what, what isn't that you saying? Like, what's the deal? You know, the uh, you know the SpongeBob s- is still relevant or something like yeah. that. Apparently, I mean, like I said, they're rerunning these all the time on Nick. They wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't still popular. I think the true SpongeBob is one of the longest running cartoons that's on right now, next to like South Park, Family Guy, and Simpsons. Yeah, are they doing new I ones? Mean, that's it's been on a while. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they were doing new ones. But uh, it'll, yeah. be inter- it'll be interesting to see next week uh, how that puts on. Right. Who- well, no, just the fact that if if it really is just like the mm-hmm. the nostalgia of it being SpongeBob, and they also or- get a hike because it's a 3D movie. The kids love the 3D, yeah. you know. And I thought it was really and, fun at 3D. Well, next week SpongeBob should be should do pretty well because it's a three day weekend for kids. That's true. Oh yeah, that's but a good point. I have a feeling Whips and Chains Incorporated is going to beat everyone. So yeah, uh, Fifty Grays. Fifty Shades. Yeah, of gray. Fifty Shades of Char- Chartreuse. That <laughs> yeah. Um, the big story, which somebody was actually joking, saying that uh, when I I should have started back up with the comic strip because of the two horrible movies, Seventh Son and uh, and Jupiter Ascending, mm-hmm. both movies that I was pretty interesting, pretty interested to watch, but because the reviews were so bad Mm -hmm. both people that were gonna see this movie bailed and it was just not worth going wow plus when you do the math and you realize that overall there's probably like three out of ten people that are walking out of that movie and saying eh like i don't know if i want to take the chance that i'm gonna be one of those three (laughs) i can never imagine walking out of a movie i'm like you know what i'm seeing this through uh i've only walked out of one movie ever in my life that movie was conspiracy theory. I mean, I almost walked out on the last Harry Potter movie because the screen, the projector was so bad. Hmm. Like just the, the oh, like right. it well, was. The, like, I was just like, I'm not gonna be that guy that yells at the manager, but because if I go, I'm gonna be ruthless on that manager. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, um, no, that's awesome. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, yeah. So uh, yesterday I watched uh, the Better Call Saul, mm-hmm. and. Um, I didn't realize that. Uh, have you guys? Have you guys watched? Uh, no, Mike. Sorry, uh, I, I haven't even seen Breaking Bad. Yet. Yeah, I'm oh, in the same gosh. boat. I'm sorry, I'm in the same boat. Jeez. All right. So no, basically, I know. it's one of those things where I know once I start watching Breaking Bad, I'm going to have to finish it immediately. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'll sorry tell you. Well, I'll tell you what I'm into right now that I'm not getting to Breaking Bad. So. Well, I'll just I'll just say it real quick then. Like uh, one of the one of the main characters in I believe season three, um, I'm not gonna spoil anything except for he's Mexican. So there, I spoiled that. Uh, but he comes back, and his character is equally as crazy, and it is amazing. And uh, Saul, I think, is going to be phenomenal in the series. And from the IMDb ratings and Rotten Tomato, right now it's up around like a nine point one mm-hmm. for out of ten. So I'm pretty excited to see where the rest of the series is going to go. Yeah, That's all I'm going to say on that because best, nobody else has. Wait, 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 did you say best um, best premiere on cable? Is that what they're like, saying? Period. 
Um, oh, I don't strong know lead-ins, of course, by uh, Walking Dead. Uh, the article I read said that Walking Dead is uh, uh, definitely um, the highest-rated cable outing of 2015 so far. Um, so really good lead-in for that. That's not surprising. No, no. I, they've been breaking records like for the last two seasons. So I, that, that's nothing. So, so really good for that. Plus, I mean, how much energy is behind... Breaking Bad, you know, especially with yeah. people doing catch up on Netflix, you know. Oh, Netflix was definitely the thing that kept that show even. Oh yeah, going. Oh yeah. Um, so, uh, let's just jump right into the next. Should we jump into the next one because it's a little spoilerly, or should we just skip that? <laughs> we can Spoiler skip it. But what's I don't know what is significant about this story. You didn't even watch it. What are we talking about here? Well, the thing is, like, I know what happens. Yeah. So, um. I guess here's the argument. We'll, we'll talk about the argument because we've all seen a little bit of, of Walking Dead. Right. I'm mostly caught up, just haven't caught the new episode yet. And Sorg, I think if all three of us, I don't know, Mad Mike, are you are you like pretty close to caught up or have you kind of tried off? I've like seen exactly two episodes of Walking Dead. All right. Mm. So basically, <laughs> Mad or uh, Sorg, you can you can be the other side of this argument. Okay. Where uh, basically the show keeps going. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay. And I guess they're trying to get back along somewhat of the path of the comic book. But basically, when they start killing off all of all of our main characters, right. we're only going to get to about two characters that anybody cares uh, about. They, they've already shot, uh, killed off people that should have lived a lot longer. They're not... They're, the point of the show is we are not going to be the comic book. We're going to spin things around i don't think going along with the comic book matters like think, period they had a good starting point they'll have elements from it you know and i think there'll still be stuff they'll maybe come back to that'll be like oh yeah but you know i and i i honestly um like i'm uh to this point like like where are at now like the, this entire season i haven't read anything from this entire season that's in yeah. the comic which i think is fantastic i don't know what's going to happen you know, um, there's been so much stuff like how the kids were handled, which was more impactful in the show. Certainly, um, the, 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 the sisters that the thing happened to, I don't want to get into that. The very sad episode <laughs> with CM Punk on it of talking dead was the only one I watched. Um, you know, it, it's, um, I don't think it, yeah, I, I don't think it matters. As long as I think as long as you don't kill, uh, Rick and the kid, but that's, that, that's, that's the it. Thing. And Daryl and Daryl. Oh yeah, now no, you cannot kill Daryl. See, that's I, a thing. franchise I player. Like, I know nothing about Walking Dead. I know you cannot kill Daryl. See, you can't kill Daryl, but people are arguing that you could hypothetically kill Rick. And the fact that if you start killing so many of the core characters, they're always going to be going for that shock value of, oh, who's going to die? That's next? the point of the show. That's a dumb. That is point the point of the show. Wheeled in. Well, I mean, it's a good way. It's I don't writing. know. Sooner or later, Rick's it's gonna ratings. die. I wish. It's how they keep the ratings on? I wish. I wish pro wrestling had more unexpected value, like Walking Dead. <laughs> you know, Sorg wants to randomly kill off characters in wrestling. <laughs> there you go. That could like be John it. Cena, piano to the head. Oh, That's you don't it. know who's gonna go. Doesn't matter how much merch he sells. <laughs> mm. I was. Uh, I was joking about the fact that if Daryl did die, it would be the best epic death. Like I would go back and watch like. A couple episodes before his oh, housewives going to be crying on the internet on the Facebooks. It's yeah, going to be crazy. I, uh, but come on, like it would be like the last. There's going to be. There's going to be. It would be amazing. There's going to be and like people are going to suggest that they watch Boondock Saints, and they're like, no, we're not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it kind of seems similar to what True Blood did, because True Blood started based off of the Suki Stackhouse novels, but then they very much deviated from what I've heard. Like I haven't read the books, but. One of my friends read the books, and she said that they deviate a lot from the books in the later seasons. So hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, spinning your own way on the source material. Because sometimes things that are in books or in print do not work well in a visual medium. That's just, like, like that's just how th some things go. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking how of how things go, we were complaining about a... Civil War movie without Spider-Man, mm -hmm. and it seems like <gasps> as things go, Spider-Man things have does been right and wrong. Or right and Avenger right. can back on course. Wow, things are moving. He's he's doing this. Man, Mike, tell us how excited are you about this? Uh it's okay. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, that's awesome. All right. All hey, right, you know, then. I mean, I'm not sure if you can tell. I, I have I have a Spider-Man poster in the background. I, I have a little little thing here, little thing here. I um, as a somewhat of a Spider-Man fan, um, yeah, this is going to be really really fun. Um, I'm a little concerned with how they're going to do it because. This being Marvel, they can really do whatever they want with it. They can have Peter Parker, and they can have just like a simple scene of him swinging around in Civil War and then being captured by a government and forced into a mask so we see who Spider Man is. Or you could go a Miles Morales route and do something completely different. Mm-hmm. Like, I honestly do not know what they're going to do. I'm excited either way. Uh, I like that they're having him, like, they're saying he's going to appear in a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie before his solo one. Odds are it's Civil War. That's the prevailing rumor. It's really the only one that makes sense because Age of Ultron is finished shooting. Ant-Man is pretty much done, I think. Um, I mean, I don't know when Doctor Strange is coming out, but that could make sense. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Because uh, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange... You know, have interacted many times before. That could be a thing. Uh, but yeah, if Spider-Man's in Civil War, which is the prevailing rumor, then that's going to be really good. I feel a little bad for Andrew Garfield because I liked him as Parker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked him but, too as Parker. Which uh, I, mean, I mean, you know... I don't know if we were the minority or majority on that. I think a lot of people didn't like him. A lot of people liked uh, Tobey Maguire. Is that Toby? Uh, yeah. I think Toby wore yeah. on a lot of people. So, but so did some of the that Spider-Man three really tainted a lot of people's opinions. Finalized out of that. See, the thing is, Toby McGuire looks like Peter Parker. Mm-hmm. He acted like Peter Parker. He was very kind of like leave it to Beaverish. Mm-hmm. Andrew Garfield played a very good Spider-Man because he was very quippy. But that's also how those movies were written. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if you could somehow get a hybrid of that, like the person I've always wanted to see as Spider-Man as Peter Parker is, uh, the kid who played Percy Jackson, Logan Lerman. I think he would be phenomenal as Spider-Man, hmm. but I don't think he's a big enough name to really land that kind of a role. I don't think it necessarily needs to be a name. Cause I don't think either of these guys, well, I guess Andrew Garfield was kind of a, a, a big deal going into this well, yeah, he had, the, Toby, so he had the social network. Toby McGuire, not so much, right? Oh no, Toby McGuire was big. But, and this, I mean, this kid's got has three Percy Jacksons under his belt at least, right? So I, I, I think uh, that's two enough. so far. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, th- I thought it was two. I don't know. The the the, the yeah. picture I pulled up has something about Percy three. So, but still, I mean, he's part of a franchise already, um, and maybe that could even bridge that over. So. Yeah, because they've never done that before. You know, like maybe making the Human Torch into Captain America. No, no, no. Uh, you know, something like that. Why not? Star Lord and Captain America hanging out at Super Bowl. You know. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God, that was so good. Yes, yes, it was. Anyways, <laughs> uh, but there's some other Marvel news, news here, right? Uh, a little bit about yeah, there is. Yeah, uh, Marvel up? is just basically spanking DC in mm. terms of movies. Said, look news. at all the stuff yeah. we have. Um, What's up? Uh, so, you know X-Men Apocalypse, right? The new X-Men movie that's coming out? Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, Ian McKellen is going to be in it as Magneto somehow. Nice. That's and pretty awesome. I, I, I'm a huge... Because I heard that both him and Patrick Stewart were done with X-Men movies. But, apparently, neither of those guys are done as Patrick Stewart is saying he might be back for the next Wolverine movie. Which... If we just get Logan and Xavier rolling around doing shit, that would be great. That would be really, really good. I'd be super excited for that. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm not a huge uh, Hugh Jackman fan when it comes to him as Wolverine. Shut your mouth. But the fact that... Shut your mouth. The fact that that he... Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. The fact that he has totally owned the role... And he's like totally behind it. I kind of just sucked it up and said, "Just let him keep doing it mm-hmm. for as long as he freaking wants." He's keeping it alive, and it's not like he's uh, really kind of crapping on it, you know. I mean, he's like, yeah, he's not dude crapping. loves Although, the role." To be fair, 
it's probably entirely Hugh Jackman's fault that the X Men is not back with Marvel. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you can look at it one of two ways. I mean, you know, like Amazing Spider Man didn't turn out the way they would. So, hey, we have a new deal. Meanwhile, X Men's actually doing well. So, <laughs> yes, we've recovered. We've re- recovered from the X Men Origins debacle, uh, thankfully. Um, although, mm-hmm. side note, I've been playing the video game, which is freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> freaking awesome. I, I'm looking forward to this. I'm glad to see if there's still part of it and they're going to continue. I mean, we did have a chance to reboot a little bit, but yeah. even if these guys got bid parts, you know, I, just to I think keep be, it in the world. I think it'd be cool if the Wolverine, if the next Wolverine movie took place at the end of Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. Like, if that, like, if Logan came out of it and he and Xavier had to go like rescue students of the school or something like that. I think that would be really That'd be cool. fun. That'd be fun. That could be interesting. You could introduce like Mr. Sinister. That would be great. I'd like to see Rogue come back too. But right, right. Mm-hmm. No, I'm yeah. just diverging. I think they've done enough with Rogue in the movies. Well, they're coming out with the Rogue cut of X Men Days of Future Past this summer, so Oh boy. We'll get your fill of Rogue. Uh well Speaking of Rogue, no, that's not a good transition. I don't hey, know. So what, Where are you going with this? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Anna Paquin. Did you watch some Anna Paquin flicks over the weekend? I did not. No, Actually, what, did what, what did you guys watch? I'll start with you guys. Uh, Mike, go for it. All right. Well, um, I watched Justice League Throne of Atlantis. Ah, is that good? Because I've seen that like around and I haven't. I'm like up. four movies back on, on the DC cartoons, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, it's not not good. Uh, it, it's if you ever wanted to learn a lot about Atlantean politics, this is the movie for you. Um, it, it, it's honestly not bad. The voice acting in it is obviously well done. The, mm-hmm. the animation is really spot on. It's just it takes a while to pick up. Okay, because. Because what they're doing is they're essentially introducing Aquaman into this universe, even though um, the source material was already written in Justice League War. Like, Aquaman was a part of that, but they just decided to make him his own movie. What? So you have. Wait, wait, well, wait. Was, I, was he. Was he well, oh, oh, he was part of the original Justice League book, yeah. you mean? Yeah. Um, oh, that's fine. That's a little bit of liberal, you know, working there. That's, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's all their stuff. They, they got another do, movie out of it. it. Good for them. But uh, you, have, you have Black Manta and you have Ocean Master, which, you know, if you've watched anything with Aquaman, you know it has to be those two villains. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. But it was it was pretty decent. Uh, not as... I didn't like that there wasn't as much of a focus on the rest of the team. Like, it was very Aquaman-centric, which, mm-hmm. you know, Aquaman, not my favorite character in the world, but it was done pretty well. Um, I would definitely, like, see if it comes on Netflix or, like, HBO or something like that. I wouldn't rush out to buy it. Mm-hmm. If you can get it for, like, the, like the $5, like the like a cable on demand or something like that, or a red box. go for it. Yeah, go red box. It. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it looks actually, I hadn't seen a trailer before uh, right now when I'm pulling up here. Um, it looks it looks good. But again, I'm, again, like two Batman films behind myself. So, mm-hmm. um, But looking forward to it. I, I, lo- I, love, I love that DC animation has just been going so well for so long at this point. And, and I, look, I look forward to just about every release they put out there uh, right now. So, um, Yeah, the next one, Batman vs. Robin, looks good. Yes, yes, it does. I love that. It's, it's Court of Owls stuff. I love the Court of Owls series. It was, it was some good stuff. So great. Yeah, I'm excited material. for that because I haven't read it. So yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna it. try and stay as removed from it as I can, so I can watch that with fresh eyes. Mm-hmm. Hey, tell me about Chef. Somebody told me today on Twitter that I should watch this one. Oh gosh, have um, you watched Chef yet? Sh- no. Yeah. Well, uh, I know I know Malengo. I know you had seen it. Oh my gosh. And I wanted to get out to the theater. You seen it four times? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so like it's so good, Sorg. It's so good. So like, you watch it. You would love it. I'm sure I would, man. I mean, you know what? Whoever is listening to this podcast right now, pause us. <laughs> watch Chef. But make sure you come back. Then, then unpause us so you can hear me talk about Chef. I'll wait. Yes. Okay, so that movie is so good. It is smart. It is funny. It is touching. It has... 
great cameos. They're not overused. Mm-hmm. Like Scarlett Johansson, Robert Downey Jr., both in the movie. Like you literally have Iron Man two somewhere in this movie. <laughs> yeah, um, it's very inspiring. At least for yeah. me, it was. It made me um, actually want to go geez. out and do stuff. And creatively, Sork, I think you would love it most of all because it shows literally how to build a grassroots social media campaign. That's what I was told today. Boom. Yeah, it literally shows that. Like it shows exactly how you go from having no presence on social media to having an abundant presence on social media. And mm-hmm. it's all done thanks to like an 11 year old. And wow. It's perfect. Who is it in this yeah. movie? Yeah. There are a lot of cameos. Wow. Yeah. And John Leguizamo. Yes. Love Johnny legs. He's fantastic in this movie. I actually, and, I actually um, went it and made make the, you hungry. Oh yeah. Yeah. I went and made the pasta dish because as awesome as they were, they listed all of the recipes on their site. So you could oh, go really? make all the stuff, yeah. So I made, oh, I made awesome. the uh, the dish that he makes for Scarlett Johansson. Me and my wife tried to make that, and it was good, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> in my belly. Did, 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 you, did you make all of the dish that I, he I made think, for Scarlett well, Johansson? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's this some inside red, stuff red, going red, on here. It means sex. <laughs> this is a rated cheese show for children of all ages. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It, me- it means coitus. <laughs> coitus. Yeah, Mike. Uh, but yeah, Chef, uh, sorry. so good. Go watch it. Yeah, so yeah. so good. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it. Like I'm gonna yeah, buy the on my list to buy. I enjoyed it that much. All right, um, and, and 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 Mike, I think we have a lot of crossover here. Arrow, Flash, uh, still great as usual to me, at least. Um, Sorg, mm. um, you're gonna be shocked with what I'm about to say. Uh oh. Oh wait. Oh my gosh, I just saw this. Let's see what he says. I'm liking Gotham. Oh, oh damn! I'm liking what? Gotham. What? I what? Gotta say, it's coming I gotta around. Say, I gotta say, the past three episodes. <laughs> oh man, then man, I saw an Oswald Cobblebot T-shirt at Hot Topic today. I'm getting for you, sir. Uh, oh, all right, not that man. much. Okay. <laughs> but, no, because there, there's still problems with it, and in my head, I still hope this leads to. Adam West Batman, but but honestly, I think the best way for Gotham to proceed at this point would be if Penguin killed Bruce Wayne and Alfred became Batman. <laughs> what? what? I'm dead serious about this. I'm dead serious oh, about we're this. We're getting wow. we're getting full Bruce, on Elseworlds on this one, huh? Wow. Bruce Wayne adds nothing to the show. You don't he think adds that nothing he to the show. Grow? The only thing he adds to the show is that, hey, there's this kid, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> there's this thing but that happened. It. But the thing, Mad Mike, is like, that's all we need. Like, I don't I don't care. Like, this one, this is the this one is... series where, like, we do not care about Bruce Wayne. This is all one large meanwhile in Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, the thing is, I don't care about Gordon either. Okay. I'm intrigued by Nigma. I'm intrigued by a penguin. So I'm intrigued villain. by You want to see the growth. And, 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 was this week's Scarecrow? Yeah. Okay. Um, like, uh, did, did, did they do well? Was it fun? Was it? Um, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. There's a lot of bullshit with Fish Mooney that you can just skip. Yeah. Um, well, you got to have that thread. The last scene with Jonathan Crane mm-hmm. was really, really good. Okay. Really, really good. I liked it a whole hell of a lot. I just it does to prove my point that Gotham, the backstory behind just the idea of Gotham, is so deep. There's so much they can go into with it. Like, right, it right. can only get better. You ever, Not saying that they can't mess it up. Mm-hmm. But it can totally get Did better. Did you ever hear the uh the, the Kevin Smith pitch of what they wanted to do with it was like Kevin Smith and oh Paul Dini. Oh my god, that was so much better than this. Kevin thing. Smith and Paul Dini were pitching a young Bruce Wayne series oh. like on their podcast, on the uh yeah. Bat- Batman on mm-hmm. Batman podcast. Like they're just like they were just like throwing this out there, right? Um and it was like a school where Bruce was the was was an attendee to the, like a private school, mm-hmm. and like all the villains God, were like God, ended up being kids there or something, oh, or or one of the professors cool. was like maybe the scarecrow or something. Like and they, no, they, Hugo Strange. 
Oh, or was Hugo Strange was like the, the, the principal or something, oh, right? Or headmaster yeah. or whatever. And they, they built out all this stuff and they like they worked out like oh like God. two or three seasons on the show. This is how uh Tusk, that movie was was kind of built, was this kind of on podcast thought of you like that, we'll make it, you know, kind yeah. of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then like a couple weeks later, Gotham got announced and they're like, Okay, I can accept that. <laughs> so like as a concept at least at, at that point. Yeah. So the, I mean let's the let's only, the only thing that worries me. The preview for next week. <sighs> the Joker. Let's see what they do. Yeah. Let's I mean, see what they I, do. I'm going to give it a chance. I haven't seen the preview yet. Well, but the, the jo- I, I saw the preview. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Well, it wasn't you got it. a joke. It was like they, they're not going to tell us. Who, I don't think they're going to tell us. I who. love the idea that we're going to like have all this misdirection on who the Joker is going to yeah. be for like several seasons. Like, I want that. Well, to I don't know about that. I know. Because- they showed someone in the preview who was smiling and laughing. Yeah, but they've, yeah, they've but alluded that, to the it. The preview before. misdirection. Okay, let me tell you about freaking Smallville. Preview misdirection. <laughs> you know how many times they alluded to, oh, that's completely so and so I know from the book. And 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 nothing. Like not even yes, close. But that's Smallville. Gotham has had no such <laughs> preview misdirection. Yeah, <laughs> but like, still, hey, you know what? We're gonna have Riddler meet the penguin. Like, oh, wait, no, it's just Edward Nigma and Oswald Cobblepot randomly exchanging an odd conversation with each other. I think this is the one, like, that's the one card that I think they can hold. Mm-hmm. And also, mm-hmm. Mad Mike, I was going to say that I think we're going to get a second season. So I would not oh, be yeah, surprised. Oh, at this point, yeah. yes. I would not be no, surprised. They, they, no, if, Fox has already picked it up for a I think they, season. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a recast, if there's mm-hmm. enough people saying, oh, we don't like where Bruce where Bruce Wayne's going, mm-hmm. but like I said, I you don't replace the kid. He's barely been on there. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh no, I don't even like the fact that he's in it. Yeah. yeah. I honestly don't think he, he has to. You can't just well, have him not be around. I, I mean, if they so. keep, well, no, we haven't even, have we, we've seen him once. I, I'm, I'm not counting this week. I haven't seen it, but we've seen him once since they came back from mid season. Yep. Like briefly. Well, mm-hmm. that, that's because his scenes are the weakest, and mm-hmm. they have nothing to do with the overarching plot. It, it's going to until we the, don't until need it gets to see older. Bruce Wayne. Okay, uh, other Alfred's stuff. Strong. Other stuff going on. Uh, Agent Carter. That was great. We talked about the Snow White yes. thing off air. Um, um, I watched... I love that they're in only an eight episode run. Is that the season or the, or a half season? Yeah, okay. that's a season. Wow, right, then I'll they're trying it, it out. They're trying it out. No that's filler. Good. Nice. No filler. Oh, there yeah. are a lot of people that oh, are yeah. liking it. I got through four episodes, and I was kind of like, eh, okay, I'll keep watching it. And we're, 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 it. Yeah, I saw the preview for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, kick it right off with the Inhuman stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, also, I saw Supernatural Season 2. I watched about the whole thing over the last week, um, uh, except for like the finale episodes, really mm-hmm. liking that. It, it really gets into a nice stride in Season 2. Um, a little, little less monster of the week. I mean, it still is monster of the week, like very legitimately monster of the week. Um, but um, also, they're doing a lot of kind of interesting things. I know it gets goofy in later seasons, from what I've heard. Um, I finished Transcendence. It's a good series. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I didn't really. I mean, it didn't really like end with a bang or anything. It's just like, well, okay, that was it. Yeah, you know, I, I it's actually, good. I don't even remember. It's good. You know how it ended. Okay, sorry. I'm oh, okay. To think how it ended. I, uh, Wanted to see where that 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 thought was going, um, and that's that's mostly it for me. And now a lot of wrestling, you know. You, you guys wrestling. gotta watch Heroes. Oh, I'm, I am watching oh, Heroes. Dude, if I find I'm some good. time to do but it, yeah, I am. I'm going in between. Like I when I I watched uh, Saul, so like I'm trying to go back into finishing Breaking Bad because I still have to finish up uh, season five. Mm-hmm. So I'm between Breaking Bad, West Wing, and. Heroes. Um, we haven't talked about it, but uh, from the chat room, uh, Wheels is saying uh, he's watched uh, he's watched Young, Young Justice League. What oh, Young, Justice? Young Justice? Young Justice was so good, so sad it got canned. Uh, and oh Angry Grandpa. God, also, Daredevil yeah. on Netflix trailer is awesome. I agree. I, I, I like I like the start of it. Uh, I was so sad. Uh, you know, my wife is usually completely in all this Marvel stuff. Yeah, he's like not interested in Daredevil. Like what? No, see. Make, what? Did you watch the trailer once? I watched. Okay, this is what Make I heard. You guys were talking about it's yesterday on Gord Killers. It's not a. Good it's not trailer. a great trailer. Watch it again. It's, it's a very low key trailer. 
It's very, it's a, I guess to say, and it's a teaser. He's not in the outfit. You know, it just, it, it, it's. Um, I think it was either you. from someone who's seen a scene or two of Daredevil. That's right. I'm excited for it. I think, I it think was, it's going to be a lot of fun. Are you saying, oh, wait, 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 let's touch on Mike here. So you're saying yeah. what we saw in the teaser is uh-huh. not representative, really, of what we're going to be getting. What I would watch, if you want a true representation of it, mm-hmm. um, IGN does this thing called Rewind Theater, mm-hmm. where they go through, like, minute, like, where second by second meticulously of looking mm-hmm. at things. Oh, I yeah. think I watched theirs and, on Star Wars. And it's a guy who was at New York Con with me and saw the scenes that Marvel showed. Okay. So they provided a little bit more backstory. A little bit of context. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. But, oh I, my god, I'm, I'm excited for Daredevil. Like that's coming out right after my birthday. Mm. That's gonna be a binge watch day. That's good. that's gonna be. Jeez, that weekend, I got I got a wrestling show in Meadville, and then I got Daredevil to slam through, and then I got freaking Silicon Valley coming out. I think like a I think doesn't like <laughs> Game of Thrones start that weekend too? That starts the oh, weekend geez. after my birthday. Sorg, like, is that WrestleMania? That's too? like the that's the April twelfth, eleventh. Yeah. Is that is that WrestleMania too? I don't know. Oh, no. Game of Thrones no, I think I think it's fourth. actually no. I think it's like the last weekend of March. Um, yeah. So I wow, wow, so much good TV. And yeah. by the way, I want to point out I did add Chef to my uh, wish list on uh, Google Play. Um, I think that's where I'm going to start renting. So two ninety nine to rent this. Oh, that's a good price. That's not bad. So I mean, Sorg, it's on Netflix. It's oh, on, yeah. Netflix? It on Netflix. Yeah, it's on Netflix. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's on yeah, Netflix. But... Also, no. sad I didn't get out to see Birdman at the Hollywood this weekend. Oh my gosh, Birdman! I know. Really I keep good. hearing it. Like I, I, I was at filmmakers Birdman. last night, and somebody was like, "Did you see Birdman?" Oh, I liked how they did. It. And I walked away. I'm like, nope, 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 yeah. nope. Because one of those, like, like, I understand it's supposed to be one of those, like, you don't know what the concept is going in, right? Nope. Mm-hmm. I need to watch it very soon. They do a very, very, good very job. soon. Coming out the on-demand stuff next week. Oh, Robocop's coming to Netflix. Also, Spartacus, uh, all four seasons of Spartacus are on there. <laughs> you know what's sad I about that? that too. I asked somebody if I should finish watching the last season of Spartacus. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah. So I went and watched the last episode. Because yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to watch the, the whole season four. And then literally the next day, it's all on Netflix. So I'm like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whatever. it's on there? Okay, I'm watching this. It's actually on my list. Huh. Oh, look at that. Anyways, oh, what's going on this weekend, Malengo? Well, before we hit what's going on... Well, no. There's only one thing going on this weekend. And it's Shades of Grey. Uh, that is a lie. Oh, no, there isn't. Are 50. you kidding me? That is a bold-faced lie, shades. sir. There is Kingsman. There's 50 shades. The ladies Kingsman. are into Kingsman. And Kingsman, but... Yes. I've already seen Kingsman. And uh, hey, I recommend... You got, you got Malengo. Malengo, let me teach you a little bit about podcasting. You gotta think about the people listening, okay? What? There are people on the other end? I this, know, it's a strange concept, but looking at the um, subscriber Malengo, list today, apparently you did something last night. Morgan, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, we haven't seen it. Think about us, man. Think uh, about your co-hosts here. Uh, Maybe yeah. we're excited about this <laughs> film. Maybe we want to see Samuel L. Jackson being freaking hilarious like he usually does. Yes. I yes. recommend if you uh, if your there wife are too many damn if, Brits on this damn plane. If your significant other does not make <laughs> you go see Fifty Shades of Grey, go see Kingsman. My grade oh, no. for it. We're I'm going so to see Kingsman. Uh, this has already been discussed. Uh, we're going to see Kingsman. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were preliminary There's plans to see Kingsman, and they're gone. And I'm wondering if there will be a mutiny. <laughs> 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 Kingsman is uh, definitely worth it. I think my grade for it started at like a B plus, mm-hmm. and it's risen a bit. I after I, I looked at the comparisons to what it's trying to be, can, I think people will have. Can fun we say with it. best thing you're going to see this weekend? Uh, I would say the best thing, but mm-hmm. unless you're into unless you're into the Fifty Shades, unless you're, from what I understand, yeah. the most interesting interesting stuff from the book got can't so. Well, I still yes. hear there's like a lot of. I, I don't know. I don't know the concept. From what I understand, there's only about 20 minutes of hibbity dibbity. So no, 20 minutes of hibbity dibbity. A lot of brooding. Only 20 minutes only. of hibbity dibbity. Man, and it's going to be like oh, movie it's... hibbity dibbity too. So I mean, that's not even going to be like the uh, the detailed book hibbity dibbity. By the way, I love this is the new word for this. I want to use this like mm-hmm. every day. What was that word? Hibbity dibbity. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm adding and subtracting letters the more I say it. <laughs> Skibbity bibbity. He got the hibbity dibbity with the skibbity bibbity in the wow. Hey, before By the way, we, um, oh. this is this is an alternate suggestion for oh. for anyone out there listening. If your woman wants to see Fifty Shades of Grey, 
Sorry. You don't want to go out to the movie theater to do that. What I recommend, find the movie secretary. Secretary? It's basically secretary. the same thing with better actors. <laughs> and I have not experienced it, but there's also a uh, Necrophiliac Volume 1 and 2 on Netflix. Do not listen to Sork. <laughs> I don't yeah, not I listen don't, to Sorg. I, I mean, think that's, I don't you know, think that's no, the same. Just have pure curiosity. I hit play on movie. one, and it was like, it's art film. It's it's completely art film. <laughs> you know, I was reading this book. The book for Fifty Grays. Is I didn't of, even see. I didn't even see a person, let alone skin. Fifty Shades of Grey. Why do I keep messing with that? that book? Outsold uh, the Harry Potter series and <laughs> oh, another uh, big book series which i can't remember now but it's pretty significant sex sells malenga i know sex right sells. it's craziness if harry if harry had just gotten down with Ginny and deathly <laughs> hollows you know would have been right there uh, <laughs> i mean hey. you know they could have gone into the chamber of secrets all right i'm gonna stop before i get into i just pulled up the trailer for the, the secretary thing. i'm checking this out Yes, Maggie Gyllenhaal. Maggie Gyllenhaal. It's okay. really, really good. And the guy's name is it is even gray. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow, I'm not joking. Oh, I'm not amazing. joking about this. Oh, that's really, amazing. really good. All right, go check that out. That's that's Mike's alternative Valentine's Day suggestion. We should have done Valentine's movies. Oh, no, um, we should have. But we're three dudes talking about movies on a podcast. No, of course sorry, we did. Because the only one for that is Valentine's Day, and no one. And let's also be honest. The biggest news is not <laughs> Valentine's Day and what movie you're going to see with your uh, significant other to get the hibbity bibbity. Uh, it's uh, Spider Man. So you know, as as proven <laughs> by you know that. that uh, Everybody gets one. Hey, hey! I want to say you know if, if you're if you're ever wondering, you're ever wondering. You know, if you're single and trying to figure that out, I just want to point out, and Mike, put, hold that up, hold that up again, uh, that this guy who is currently dressed as Spider-Man completely is going to get some hibbity bibbity this weekend, and uh, you could too. This is a public service announcement. Dreams can come true. Speaking of dreams coming true, for dinner I'm going to be eating pizza. And from our friend Slice on Broadway, thanks SliceOnBroadway.com for producing, producing, producing pizza <laughs> for and belly. supporting Pittsburgh podcasting Thank and you hooking up so uh, Malango could swing in here and not have to worry about uh, yeah. being oh, a hungry swing podcaster. Swing in, or get, make, it, make it worse that I and Spider Man <laughs> and I have Slice on Broadway. <laughs> on that yeah. note, Malango, take us home. I'm going to watch the rest of this uh, Secretary ter- uh, trailer. Oh, it's getting hibbity bibbity. <laughs> Somebody figure out how to spell that so I can make it the show title. Well, that's it for this week's Rambling Movie Minute. And until next week, have a Rambling Movie Weekend. Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever an Avenger can. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Let's talk tech tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net.